Welcome back. We're here looking at the end of the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 3rd, 23rd, 2022. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and if you want to see all my trades and uh, my portfolio, then the link is also down below. So let's get to it and uh, we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. And last week was absolutely horrendous. We have had a massive sell off. Uh, the last uh, seven to eight weeks and we didn't have this kind of long uh, sell-off since basically the, the 1920s and uh, so yes the market has been very very bearish and at this current, at this current point we are kind of approaching um, a levels at least in the weekly chart which should be quite uh, supportive so seeing a rally the next two to three weeks or probably longer than that that could be in the cards doesn't mean that we're going back to a bear market it's just that the market is at this point um, so overstretched that it kind of needs a rally in order to go lower so if you look at the, the if you look at the daily chart we can see that there are several moving averages where we we'll definitely find resistance I will also find support. I'll show them that in the weekly chart. But we can see that 200 moving average definitely going to be massive resistance. So if we even get there back um, at any point in time, then that's going to definitely um, be an area where people will start selling. Uh, the same goes for the 20 simple moving average in the middle of the bullish band and the 50 moving average. So we have rallied up towards the 200, broke down rally up towards the middle of the bullish band or the 20 simple moving average broken and break it down and so on and in the past few weeks the simple 20 simple moving average has basically been the top of this chart so every time we get close to the middle there has been selling pressure so on friday we hit a lows here of 11.5k and at the end of the session there was a lot of buying um into the close and that is usually a bullish shine. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bearish, but it's about to cross the signal line. We can see the stochastic is still in negative territory, but has crossed the signal line. And the RSI is still technically flat at this point and very low. We're at 30, uh, 34 in the RSI, and that is very low for the daily chart. If you look at back in the, into, um, um, History, we can basically see that when we get below uh, 30, it, it tends to basically rally. So if we look at the weekly chart, which is probably more interesting than the daily chart at this point, we see that we have had like around eight weeks where we have had sell off. Since we basically hit the uh, 50 moving average up here, this was basically in the end of March, we have been selling off. And if we look at the, the RSI, it's at 28. And usually when the RSI uh, breaks below 30 in the weekly chart, we tend to have a quite a significant rally, which we kind of also see when the market opened now, it gapped up and has started to rally. It doesn't mean that we are going to see this channel and that we're going back to normal again. It just needs, it only means that the market is so overstretched at this point that there's no room basically left to the downside at this current stage. And therefore, we may see this market rally up towards the simple moving average. If I can write this down here. So 20 simple moving average is moving in this direction. We have the 50 moving average moving here. Then we may see this rally up towards the 50. Let's send a 20 simple moving average before continuing down. If we break above here, then the 50 moving average may come into play. But as we saw back here, we got heavily rejected at the 20 simple moving average. And this is kind of um, very familiar to when a bear market starts that you have these fairly significant rallies basically you do round half of this breakdown and then it continues breaking down because you need to get the RSI higher in order to for this market to go lower. The RSI can't go to, to negative or can just continue falling. Um, there will probably most likely be also significant support at the 200 moving average if we get to that point. But at this current stage, people are expecting a recession in the United States and therefore it is 
probably very likely that in the long run we will also see a crossing of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average so this crossing here that that will basically be a very 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 shine for this market and we may see a very similar outcome to what we basically saw back in the dot-com bubble if you look at what basically happened there is right here we had a significant increase in price action went way uh, above the um, top of the bullish band and got very overstretched we broke down quite significantly and it took around two and a half years from the top until we got basically hit the bottom and we also had a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average something that we most likely will see in the coming future if this trend basically continues so this hit rock bottom and and um, also it was a fairly significant recession and uh, when the fed basically st started to intervene we can had a continuation until we basically got to the uh, financial crisis and the market crashed yet again and then we had roughly 13 years of non um, consecutive basically growth mainly due to um, the fed basically keeping this market up with quantitative easing and so on so yes it will most likely continue it's not going to stop until basically the fed changes its policies and becomes more and uh, starts helping the market again and instead of working against the market so let's look at the s p 500 and as you can see also here we did gap up at the beginning uh, on uh, the monday session we are crossing here in the middle uh, in the macd which is a bullish shine stochastic is also cross which is a bullish shine and the rsi is also rallying so up towards the middle of the bullish band which is a simple moving average this line here we may rally up to that point and get rejected if we break above here and then it is the 4100 give or take which you need to take out in order to go towards the 50 moving average and this is probably as far as this will go if we manage to break above the 50 moving average then we have the 200 moving average coming into play here and it's 4300 that we need to break above in order to, for this market to basically turn around and as the conditions are at this moment with uh, with monetary policy and uh, especially inflation that is probably not going to be the case there's going to be a lot more hurt in the market um, going forward but rallies will definitely happen so breaking above the middle of the bullish band opens the door to the 50 to the 20 and the 200 moving average if we break below here then we may look at the weekly chart and uh, look at the 200 moving average down here at the 3482 and that is technically where we were um, in 2020 before we had the crash of for, from the coronavirus so this area here, 200 moving average, is most likely where we'll basically bounce and at least have a significant rally. We're also very low in the weekly chart for the S&P 500. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones also gapped up earlier. And if you look at the candlestick for Monday, we can let me get rid of that. Candlestick for for friday i was supposed to say then this is a very very bullish and candlestick indeed we broke down all the way down to 30.6 uh, 30 uh, k and then rallied all the way up towards 31.2 k and now we gapped up so we may see this uh, rally continue up towards the middle of the bullish band which is a 20 simple moving average so that is right here so this is most likely where we'll find the first resistant roughly up to 32.1k or the 50 moving average which is right here which is going to be around 33.5k and then the 200 moving average it's not kind of before we break above these candlesticks that this market will start looking more bullish but at this point uh, we are going to see um, um, bullish activity in, even though that we are in the bear market macd is still bearish the casting is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well so let's look at the european market and 
this is just doing the same thing. We have a bearish channel here, which we have been trading in for the last uh, few months back in the beginning of, uh, of March. So we saw this massive breakdown due towards uh, uh, due to the uh, in the beginning of March, I was supposed to say. And since then, we rallied up towards the 50 moving average. And then we have been within this channel and we have been just going lower and lower creating lower lows and uh, and uh, and higher lows as well and at the moment it looks like we're going to to trade back towards the very lows here so if we break above the 50 moving average then we may have a chance of going towards the 200 moving average which is up here that is roughly at the 13.5 14.9k or 15k and that probably is far as this market will go we have a a top here that we need to take out and the 200 moving average will most likely be very very uh, significant resistant if we break below the channel uh, then the lows here of march uh, are definitely going to uh, offer a significant support but as this channel is going at this point it kind of looks like we're just going lower and lower the european market will most likely be uh, much worse off than the, the, the u.s economy so this will definitely be hit if we're going into a global recession. If you look at the MACD, we can see that it's bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX continues to drop. We are down at the 2.37% uh, at this current stage, even though we are, it's kind of expected for the VIX to increase in uh, uh, over time as we are gearing up for higher levels uh, we still have the bottom here which is the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average so breaking below the 50 opens the door to the 200 at which is at this point at 23.5 and we'll probably get there as we are um, as we are kind of turning around it has been going up down up and kind of expected to go back towards the 200 moving average before continuing higher break below the 200 that kind of needs a change in outlook for the world economy and also the uh, monetary policy in the united states but as long as that is not the case uh, uncertainty and um, and the fear factor will basically grow over time which we are basically just seeing we're just going making higher highs all the way on and so on and we didn't make a high high here but we'll probably the next one will be higher so if you look at the macd we can see that it's bearish stochastic is bearish and so is the rsi look at the 10 year uh, we are testing major uh, support here which is the 50 moving average uh, if we rally from here then we may go back towards the highs of uh, of uh, of 3.1 Breaking below the 50, well, then we can look at the Fibonacci retracement, which we have here. And we can see that we may see this market test the first retracement here at the 38.2, which is 2.6. Then the 50 is down here at 2.4. And then the 61.8 is all the way down here at 2.2. And that is probably as far as this will go uh, before bounce. Breaking below here, then the 200 moving average comes into play. Look at the MACD, is it bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.